video i'll just do a quick revision in chapter 11 so it's just an overview on the chapter it's not really enough it won't really get you ready for the test but if this is your last minute this will work for you also so chapter 11 is not really a chapter on a uh, standing alone it's just a mixture of chapters from then chapter 6 onwards till today because um there's literally nothing new that you'll actually get from this chapter but it's just a summation of all those sub chapters that you've been getting over the past so what is this chapter all about it's just series of pipeline so series isn't like in electricity when you have resistors resistors and resistors if they are series you can just sum them up let me say i want total resistance let me say resistor total it will be just r1 r2 and r3 and what and what's not then that will give me my r until my rn so that's exactly what we're doing here but now we're looking at it like energy losses and gain so so we're literally adding out throughout what the energy loss and gain we're getting if there was a pump we just add there's a loss we minus there's a loss we minus there's a loss we minus then there's an exit loss we minus entry loss we minus that all what this chapter is about but on the book they will say a lot of stuff like classification class one class two i think up to class three that's not really um a big first because you can actually solve these questions you are able to do them you just they just tell you that they are actually classified so i'll just i won't solve the problem on screen i'll just show you how it actually works so we know that um p all over is equal to m plus I think that will be v squared all over 2g and that will be my plus z plus energy entered plus energy loss minus p this is um all uh, equals to then that is going to plus v squared all over 2g um plus z is going to be our energy equation so because this thing is open both sides it's open on both sides so we can just this one will go to zero this one will go to zero so these things are actually they look like they are of same dimensions so this one will go to zero this one will go to zero so now we're having a thing like z plus energy added plus all the energy loss plus i'm actually equals to z so here if i'm taking my datum as here so on the other side or on the right side of the equation so literally i'm cutting this thing here this is the right side this is the left side of the equation so i don't know what i wrote here I just have a very bad handwriting it's going to be z plus h a added plus energy loss should equal to z here so if this one will be the, if i'm taking this data I'm here this obviously is going to be zero then this is going to be 10 then i'll have something like this so this is all that you need but now there's just the reason why i'm doing this video is that this energy loss is now made of uh, energy loss one up to energy loss two until energy loss n because i did say in the beginning of this we're literally summing all the energies that we lose until we go to the next um checkpoint so I'll have to okay first I think some of the things that I have to say here already covered on the previous video okay energy lost one when I'm trying to enter here I'm going to lose that means we call it um entrance energy loss we did discuss that uh in the previous video it's going to be what we say about our entrance energy loss if it's going in it's going to be k v all over 2g um but k Will be depending on the nature of the of the inlet or whatever this what is going in for in this case square k is going to equals corners k is going to 0 0.5 okay so then now we go in here the pump is catered by energy added so we can just keep the pump um then we can come here to the the, the fully open globe valve and also for it to be another energy loss too for a valve also the k you just you get the k for for the valve it's also on your data so it's going to be k v squared all over 2g 
no big deal you just plug in and then after plugging in well after plugging in then we could but before I, I shouldn't call this one two I think I should call this one uh, three because there is um there is there's energy I'm losing here due to friction on the suction side trying to get in here and that energy and then we call it two it's friction this one okay remember the pipe has friction no matter how new it is but it has friction that's why if you're drawing it in here its velocity profile it kind of look like this so it means there's something that is actually dra dragging this water from moving so smooth so a friction is going to be the one that i missed is going to be fs um l over d where l is the length and uh, d is the diameter v squared all over 2g okay then we can now arrive here and also here the k for this one is going to be um friction uh, yes friction factor all over l all over d and this one is the equivalent length okay so we discussed that also i think on the previous video again so now we are here we have covered the friction the pump is covered by the energy added we've covered and now we, have, we are on the elbow so the elbow again is going to be energy loss uh four energy loss four is going to be equals to fd um l e all over d v squared 2 all over 2g so we also discussed the energy loss by the uh, by the the elbows so these elbows are two you can just do yourself a favor times it by two so now there will be energy loss um also trying to go in here there will be another friction so it's going to be energy loss five of which is friction or just write friction because we already discussed friction on the other one so now there will be another if we're trying to exit here there will be another energy loss six of which will be by uh, exiting this exiting the pipe system so if we exit our k become one which is the easiest one then that means the formula just become v squared all over 2g so literally now we can say our energy that we lost is should equals to energy lost one energy lost two energy lost three plus energy loss four energy loss five energy lost i think until six then whatever that i get here uh, let me just sum of all l uh from n is equals to one up to n is equals to six and then then put n here do some little bit math then after summing all these things then this will go to your energy loss this one will be energy added by the pump z will be the altitude the difference in height so with that all being said you are almost done uh, you can now solve the problem if i solve the problem it will take forever that's why i just decided to not solve it but actually tell you how you should work around it also i think i forgot to mention something very important these v's that you are seeing here they are actually not the same for instance when i'm here the v, the v in here is not the same even though the q is not the same but these pipes are this is dn100 schedule 40 this is dn50 so they are actually different remember you have q is equals to va and then let me say this one is for suction suction is the before with the before the pump so pump is suction is sucking it, the water in so the q will be the same so we'll get our velocity at suction then we'll have q again the same q velocity at discharge then we get an area at discharge so for which v go where just come to the thingy here all this part is the suction side and then all this part is a discharge uh, part so the velocity s work here velocity x work s work here and velocity discharge work here so anything that i have to do with v here use this one anything to do with v here use this one 
so hopefully if i get time i'll actually put values into this problem and show you how it actually work but with that being said also i think it's worth uh getting the, um, the reynolds number uh, i think i'll just put it that here very short revision reynolds number you'll get it with density v d all over dynamic virus viscosity and then um you get your roughness relative roughness you go to modi after being modi what do you get you get f i won't say what f is and then <laughs> then your ft uh is going to equals to f lv squared all over 2 dj to dg okay so that's how that's how you get your modi then after modi you decide if it's tablet or not table or lamina so then that will help you on decision decision making on which formula to use where so i think i've said enough for the chapter we can just move to chapter 12 now